A breakthrough in Alzheimer's research. Researchers at MIT have discovered a new potential treatment for Alzheimer's disease that involves interfering with an enzyme that forms blockades in brain cells. Scientists have found that levels of HDAC2 enzymes are usually higher in people with Alzheimer's. Medical mice with the disease also have elevated levels of this enzyme. HDAC2 enzymes bind to genes called SP3, which in turn condenses chromatin and reduces the expression of some genes in the DNA. This results in the blockade of memory formation. Researchers isolated the particular section of HDAC2 that binds to SP3 and overproduced that fragment. These fragments bind to SP3, preventing it from binding to entire HDAC2 enzymes, thus allowing memory-linked genes to be expressed. Previous attempts at blocking HDAC2 would often trigger dangerous side effects by interfering with the production of red and white blood cells. The MIT method is the first procedure to have shown no interference with other enzymes. Researchers are investigating other ways to adapt the technique in human trials. Could we soon be able to put Alzheimer's disease behind us for good? Detecting Alzheimer's years before symptoms begin. Researchers at Washington University in St. Louis have developed a simple blood test that may be able to detect whether a person is developing Alzheimer's disease. Amyloid plaques, the buildup of amyloid beta proteins in the brain, start developing more than 15 years before the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease start to surface. At the moment, the only ways to monitor plaque buildup are through PET scans or spinal tap procedures. Researchers have developed a new blood test that can detect the amyloid beta buildup in the brain. The test measures the amounts of three amyloid subtypes, the peptides amyloid beta 38, 40, and 42. It has been found that the levels of amyloid beta 42 are consistently 10 to 15% lower than amyloid beta 40 in people with amyloid plaques in the brain. The blood test is said to have an accuracy rate of 89% over 20 blood samples. Researchers plan to expand the experiment to include 180 people. Sleep tight if you don't want to get Alzheimer's. A new study shows that even a single bad night's sleep could raise levels of a protein that may lead to clogs in the brain and result in dementia. Amyloid beta and tau are two proteins in the brain that are naturally produced but can cause clogs and tangles in the brain. The proteins are cleared away when the body enters slow wave sleep. Experiments have shown amyloid levels increase by about 10%, with tall levels also increasing after slow-wave sleep is disrupted for just a few consecutive nights in a row. Amyloid beta protein levels in excess of 10% could cause amyloid plaques that lead to dementia. Meanwhile, the increase of tall could cause tangles in the brain that lead to Alzheimer's disease. More than 5 million Americans have Alzheimer's disease, and many more others are expected to develop the disease as the population ages. There is currently no cure or treatment for the disease. Researchers find terrifying link between Alzheimer's disease and the very air you breathe. New research suggests there may be a connection between cognitive decline and heavily polluted air. According to U.S. researchers, elderly women who breathe polluted air, such as from car exhausts, have a higher risk of developing dementia and suffering cognitive decline. The research also suggests that women who carry the gene APOE4 have a much higher chance of developing Alzheimer's disease if exposed to similar air pollution. These dangerous particles are found in pollution from car exhaust fumes, power plants, and even burning wood. The research was led by the University of Southern California and published in the journal Translational Psychiatry. Ultrasound shows promise as non-invasive treatment for Alzheimer's. Australian researchers have found that mice suffering from Alzheimer's perform much better in behaviour tests after receiving ultrasound treatment, a discovery that could give hope in the battle to find a cure for humans suffering from the degenerative illness. Neurotransmitter activities are disrupted in the brain of Alzheimer's patients. Beta amyloids, a natural protein, accumulate in patients' brains, leading to the formation of plaques that can damage nerve cells. The cerebral cortex of Alzheimer's patients also shrink as symptoms progress. 
Scientists at the University of Queensland in Australia conducted a series of tests in which they injected a solution containing tiny gas bubbles into mice. Ultrasound helps the gas bubbles expand. The bubbles then temporarily open a gap in the blood-brain barrier, allowing the entrance of antibodies into the brain. The antibodies remove toxic beta amyloids and thus reduce the size of the plaques in the patient's brain. Researchers now plan to carry out the same tests in larger animals such as sheep. Tests in humans will be more difficult because the human skull is harder, meaning ultrasound waves cannot easily penetrate it. Anti-inflammatory drugs could treat depression and Alzheimer's. Scientists have discovered possible links between inflammation and mood disorders, suggesting that they could be treated with anti-inflammatory drugs. Researchers have discovered a large number of people with rheumatoid arthritis also suffer from depression. It is possible that inflammatory chemicals interrupt the brain's production of serotonin, a key neurotransmitter linked to mood. When patients were given particular anti-inflammatory drugs, improvements in both their arthritis symptoms and mood were observed. Scientists are investigating whether targeting the immune system could treat mood disorders, such as depression and neurodegenerative diseases, including Alzheimer's disease. The precise type of inflammation that may cause mood disorders and the anti-inflammatory drugs best suited to treating it are still under research.